So today we're turning the Sony a6500 into this. First thing I think I'm actually just gonna do what I need to do for the camera first and then put it on the shoulder rig, okay? All right, first things first, we got the top handle. It is the small rig uh, NATO rail handle, very basic stuff. I got the Tilta Mirage uh, map box. So all this is actually, I have it in another video for my cinema rig. So you guys can go watch that other video first if you want to know about the A6500 cinema rig. Next, I have the band, the gear band thing that goes for the follow focus. I have the Fotka branded um, follow focus. And the next thing is the small HD monitor. But uh, I don't think I'm going to keep it right there because it doesn't really make sense for the shoulder rig to have the monitor right there plug that in and then the next thing is the quick release plate from the shoulder rig itself I'm gonna mount that onto the cage make sure that it's nice and tight so we don't want any movement whatsoever I hope you guys are okay with me doing an uh, voiceover this time just trying to change things up and uh, see how it goes took the battery out of that because we're going to be using a dummy battery for the sony a6500 okay tightening that onto the shoulder rig and the next thing is my battery box the xlr battery box that um, has two xlr cable inputs plus you get to have batteries that are connected to that but you're gonna see what I do later that actually connects a bigger battery source to it as well. Turns out I have to disconnect everything to put in the XLR battery box. Okay, put the camera cage and camera and everything back on and then tighten everything once again. Okay, so here, this is a viewfinder that I can put on my flip screen. Um, it is all just for aesthetics, I'm not gonna lie. It's all for aesthetics there because it doesn't do anything when you actually plug it into the monitor. All right, putting on the audio. So this part is very important because the audio I chose is the one that actually comes with a microphone. Um, I used this rig for a street team one time and that was like the only time I used it. Um, this one comes with a microphone that is also a transmitter. Okay, so readjusting where the small HD monitor is and putting the receiver of the lav system on the other side boom so that already looks very cool and then the next thing is for me to plug it all in into the XLR box because the XLR battery box is the one that connects to the Sony a6500 so I have the LPE6 dummy battery that is going to connect to an external battery source I know it's a little bit more complicated, but if you're doing a street team type situation where you're gonna be holding the rig the entire time, having it on your shoulder actually helps so much than just carrying it. Okay, so everything is plugged into the V-mount battery. Um, as you can see here, I have the newer V-mount battery. Okay, as you can see here, it's a little bit too far forward and your shoulders would be exhausted after a little bit. So what I had to do was readjust the shoulder pad, as you will see very soon. Readjust the shoulder pad, move it forward a little bit. So everything just gets readjusted forward um, just for the weight distribution. And then tighten, tighten, tighten. Everything's tightening. Perfect. Yep, there's the counterbalance weight right in the back there. Okay, and I try it and it's good so that is everything thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one